check this out. Got another brand new release for me, Shane. Let's get unwrapped. Look at this, and again, look, box is a little bit damaged, a bit knocked around, a little bit squashed again, same as our last one, yeah, look, a bit knocked around, that's a shame, two batteries, well, I'd like to say I'm excited to see this beautiful bird, but I'm not too sure, the BF109 was a bit disappointing. Had like crashing, didn't it? The BF109. So that was disappointing. So hopefully, this beautiful Spitfire will fly perfect, just like our Mustang and our Trojan and our Corsair. This will be my first Spitfire. So I am a bit excited for sure. Two batteries. Let's open it up. Look at this, someone's cut the sticky tape. Ah, very interesting. That sticky tape's cut. It's already been opened. There we are. Directions are jammed in there. Wonder if it's been opened. Look at this. Well, the best thing about these e-chains, almost fully assembled, except for the wheels. Isn't it? So, that's real handy, isn't it? Paint job's looking nice so far. There she is. Look at that. Does look nice. Does look nice. Looks like a nice Spitfire. We've got a battery in here. Nice tight fit. I can't get the wires out. Where's my tweezers? Lost my tweezers, so I got some little pliers here, pointy nose pliers. Just grab on those wires. Here we go, we've got a little battery in there, very nice. Oh, it looks like we got a better wheel setup, like our BF109, and they're very close together. Yeah, so I might tip over on the landing for sure. It feel, does feel nice in my hands. I am enjoying holding this. Mmm, nice looking Spitfire. Both sides the same. Very good. Flip it over. Have a look at our props first. Look at this, I was hoping they would, look at this, look at this, oh, two props and they've painted the tips yellowy orange, wow, I'm impressed about that, i seen that in the picture, the tips are painted, I didn't think they would though, look at that, that's good effort isn't it, going to the trouble of painting the tips. They're going to look nice in the sky. They might be even bigger spinners too. There's my broken prop off the BF109. And look at this. Got different spinners. Haven't they? A lot bigger spinner on that one. On our new bird on the Spitfire. Very nice. And remember, if you haven't already, check out my other video on my BF109 where it doesn't fly real nice, I kept crashing it until I broke the prop. So that was nothing. That was so disappointing. A 
another bag full of goodies. Got our USB charger. Ah, oh, very good. We've got a little prop saver. Put them in there. And look at that. We got some upgraded wheels. Very good, not our Spitfire. Yes, they're nice. Yeah. I was excited to fly the BF-109 off the pavement to see how good these wheels were. See how good they take off and land. But I wasn't able to do that, was I? I'm forgetting something. Your radio. Extra battery in the back. Very good. That's good. Put some batteries in here. I'll find some batteries. Just checking out the manuals. Even our more recent BF109 is like a book. And our old P51s, of course, theirs are like a book. It's more like a book. I was reading it a couple of nights ago and I come across something. Look at this. For our expert mode, we have a weak gyro assistance. So this is something, isn't it? Mid mode, we've got a soft gyro, and then beginner, strong gyro. So maybe they have changed the receiver board, gyro board, circuit board. What do you think? Mm, this is very interesting. Here's our Spitfire manual. A little bit different, big long piece of paper. And there we go. We've got some gyro assistance with the expert mode. And then soft and strong. Very interesting. And we've added a little bit more. How to replace the power system. So that's real good. You can pause that now if you need to know that that'll help you with the old birds won't it yeah except you can see that that um, we've got a couple of hatches that open so they've improved these new ones we've got a hatch that that'll pop out as i had to do with my bf109 and then we've got a little hatch in the front here pop out to get to your motor so that's really good a couple of improvements and of course, our landing gear, which they've improved. So let's bond it up and see if it all works, eh? I'm a bit nervous. Got my batteries in the original radio. Just like that. Beautiful. And I've bound it up twice just to check it. And I'm very happy. Everything's all working. But we'll get to the gyro in expert mode in a moment. Grab a battery. Grab an old one here. Plug it in. And if you've read the manual, it says to check your control services before you turn on the radio. Okay? Check your control services. Make sure they're all level. Make sure they're all level. What do you think? Pretty good, pretty good. Don't forget about your rudder. All nice and level. Okay. And you got five seconds to turn on the radio when you plug your battery in. So we'll unplug it. Black to black, red to red. Plug it back in. Got five seconds to turn on our radio. Solid light, and we're bound. Throttle's not active yet. So, beginner mode. Throttle's not active. We have gyro. Try not to shake. Try and hold level for you. Gyro is actually active, isn't it? Even though I haven't activated the throttle. So, mid-mode, same again, elevator goes up, 
Guru Banking, Eat Mid Mode, stay in there. That's fine. Plus you can move your tail up and down. Elevator goes up. When you go up like that, elevator goes up. Expert mode. No gyro in expert mode. See? Control surfaces stay level. No noises. Arm the throttle, full throttle, it's a safety feature. Now we're armed. Got the motor, I've still got the prop off for safety. Beginner mode. Gyro is active, very responsive, very happy about that. We're banking. Elevator's staying up. Bank to the other direction, try not to shake. Elevator's staying up. Oh, that's a better angle. Staying up. All working the way it should. Very nice. Doesn't like being upside down. That's the beauty of the gyro. Go to mid mode. We should have a little bit less bank angle, but it's a bit hard to see on the bench. Aileron staying up as it should, staying in the bank, other side, staying up, elevator staying up, in mid mode, very nice, nice and responsive, go to expert mode, no gyro, very interesting, no gyro, so what's that about in the manual? Maybe they've gone back to the old receiver board because they've had problems with the new board. As you've seen with my BF109, it didn't fly, did it? Had problems. Very interesting. We've got no assistance, nothing. It's the same, exactly the same as our Mustang Corsair Trojan. It's acting exactly the same. Can test all the control services. They're not getting stuck. So that's good. I'm very happy. So this one should fly perfect. I'm excited now. Very excited. That's expert mode. Beginner mode. Gyro is active. All oh, working perfect. I'm so happy now. Oh, I can say it's a beautiful bird now. This one's going to fly. Holy. I'm excited. Thoroughly tested, it's all working. So I can put the prop on now and see how she looks. We'll put the wheels in as well. Where's my wheels? There we go. Which one's this one? Um, no. Put that angle on the outside. Wheels are on the outside. A little bit hard to clip in, just got to try and work them in. Here we go, clipped in. Now for our other wheel, there, rake forward too, which is really nice, look at that. Rake forward, they thought about that. Doesn't matter, it's not perfectly to scale. Here we go, clips in. Look at that. Beautiful looking bird now. They're yeah, nice looking wheels. Clip on our prop. Oh, look at that. I like the tips. Look at that. No excuses here. Painted the prop tips. Very nice. That's a nice looking bird, isn't it? I'm happy now that it all works. Looks nice with these triple blades, but they might break off. We have a hard landing. We'll clip on the broken prop. What do you think? What do you think about the colours? Which one looks better? Both got the same sort of grey, hasn't it? Same sort of light grey. Yes. Very nice. Two beautiful looking birds. 
Hopefully this one will fly perfect. And this one definitely doesn't fly. One more thing, I got my Corsair prop and the Mustang prop. Let's see how they fit. We'll start with this one first. On goes the red one. Doesn't look too bad, but the spinner rubs on the foam a little bit. It's stiff, won't turn. Yeah, over here, yeah, it's rubbing on the foam, yeah. So that spinner's a little bit big. Well, the motor's sitting in a bit. So that one's no good. That's good, it's got the same prop savers for sure. Here we go. Corsair one fits. Only got that little baby spinner on it. Don't look too bad either. I liken this big spinner on it. So maybe, try and pop that off. Ooh, very close to rubbing. Very close, but not rubbing. Very close. Maybe just rubbing a tiny little bit. You know what, I, I like that red spinner on there. That's nice, isn't it? That looks nice. Same colour as our dots. Same colour on the flag, pretty much. Does look pretty good, doesn't it, with the red spinner? That one's got a little bit bigger gap on the one that's meant for it. Definitely a little bit bigger gap around it. Yeah. Yeah, the wheels are about the same width too. About the same width. I thought the Spitfire might have been a bit close together, but so is the BF109. So about the same. So there you go. I've tested this one thoroughly. On the bench, obviously, on the bench. So hopefully it's going to fly perfect. Hopefully it's nice and fast like our Mustang. We know the gyro works good in the Mustang and the Corsair. And of course the Trojan as well. So hopefully our Spitfire is going to fly beautiful. Yeah. So I hope this helps someone. Thanks for watching.